Hi, my name is Sandy, and I will show you how to profitably trade on Hekenashi charts. Now, first of all, why would you use the Hekenashi candles rather than the normal candlesticks that come with MetaTrader charts? Well, on this chart, um, which is the pound Swiss crown, this is an it looks like an easy to trade chart. We obviously have a downtrend, the price is falling, and all you have to do is draw some trend lines and focus on the price bouncing back from these trend lines and enter short selling it might look easier however <clears throat> you have to analyze each candle and each candle formation um, to determine the right entry and also uh, it can be hard and also the fact that the candles change the color way too often sometimes red green green red um, it also can lead to a headache. According to me and my trading um, well, knowledge, let's say I would have entered this trade right here because the price bounced from the trend line and, and it also created this uh, uh, this gap right here, further pushing down. So this would have been a valid entry for me. And maybe right here when the price created this double top and then the price further continued down, never reaching this level again anymore. This would have been another entry for me. <coughs> Sorry, to sell. And I don't think I have done anything else. This um, I would have probably forget about this because it happened too fast. So I have had two uh, profitable trades on this part uh, on this chart, and. Um, the problem is, as I've said, it is hard to spot the entry, and that is why many traders prefer the Hekenashi indicator to uh, enter the trades. And the default Hekenashi indicator looks like this. It looks a little better because the candles don't change the color so often, so it might be easier to spot a right entry when the, uh, the price, uh, sorry, the candle changes the color from um, uh, red into white. It might be easier. However, we are going to use a RobotFX Heikenashi uh, indicator. And this is a smoothed Heikenashi indicator. Settings look like this. Um, you can make it even, let's say, even smoother uh, so the uh, candles will not change the color as fast as they do on the normal default Heikenashi. And this is way better because, first of all, as I have said, we get rid of the headache and we uh, don't have to deal with the candles changing the color every time. And also, we don't have to deal with the spikes. And also, most important, we don't have to analyze each candle and each candle formation to determine a, tra uh, a trade entry. All we have to do is focus on the times uh, the candlestick changes the color from red into green or teal, and this is it. And according to the Heike and Ashi chart, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trades, seven profitable trades on this chart. I have also attached an indicator here just for the, um, just to see, uh, better see the price falling, let's say the downtrend, but we don't really need this. So this is how the Heike and Ashi indicator looks like. And I think that answered the questions as why we should trade on Hekenashi rather than on the candlesticks. Now, let's see what we have and what tools we need to accomplish this. All right, since the Hekenashi candles are mostly used to trade with the trend by the trend traders, let's start by determining the trend. Now, I have switched to four hour chart time frame, H4. So here we're gonna zoom out and because this is a clear downtrend that it's easier to explain so what we want to do now uh, the price starts in the upper left corner of the chart and then is the uh, lower right corner obviously the price is falling so what we want to do trading with the trend is to sell right now to determine the values for the expert advisor we're going to have to drag the Hekinashi 2 indicator on the chart this comes in the package with the expert advisor, if you care to download and try it on your demo account, and change the settings of the Hekenashi indicator so that the candles, the Hekenashi candles created by the indicator, 
to have the same color which is red for downtrend so you're gonna have to increase the first moving average uh, length let's try 50 50 is not enough we still have green areas here where i wanted to probably sell um, and the expert advisor will not be allowed to sell if the trend uh, will not be um, falling will not be a downtrend so i'm going to increase the first moving average more still a little not happy with here and here where again i wanted to sell and the expert advisor might be restricted by the fact that the moment of selling um well there was not a downtrend so finally i'm going to set this to 200 that for this chart matches and by the way you can also change the type of the moving average simple exponential smooth and linear weight um, by default hacking actually uses a smooth and a linear weight uh, moving average but you can change them to but to get better results maybe and finally as you can see uh, we have almost an uninterrupted red line and maybe it's better here is green because here the price made a very big move up 300 uh, pips 350 pips uh, which also means that the trend might have wanted to reverse here so maybe you didn't want to sell uh, overall it's a good settings for the trend and we're going to use these settings in the export advisors trend detector and you'll find this you'll find that the expert advisor has two trend detectors a and b now for the simplicity of this explanation i'm going to use only one trend detector which is a i have disabled the second one by setting it to false but you can of course set it to true and maybe use it again the hack and hash indicator to determine the trend on a higher time frame uh, that being the classic uh, trade with the trend method follow determine the trend on a higher time frame and trade accordingly on a lower time frame now um, back to our settings i'm using the same settings as the indicator on the current chart which were smoothed uh, moving average smoothed 200 and second moving average linear 2 i don't care about the shift too much so leave it to zero and now the expert advisor knows to trade according to this trend um, so it knows it will only be allowed to sell if the Heike Nashi candles from the trend detector are red however i don't need this indicator on the chart i can safely delete it and instead i i'm using uh, this is another indicator that i'm using um, a smoothed bar with the same settings just to remind me about the uh, trend in, ca in case I uh, zoom out and I want to focus on the latest candles and I maybe forget about it. Although it is also written here and this message comes from the expert advisor itself. Anyhow, after we have determined the trend, we have to determine the settings for the Hekenashi entries. And what we want to do now is for the expert advisor to sell where the price one second to sell where the price uh, reaches the trend line and then re resumes uh, its move further down so it can be here it can be here it can be here or every time it creates a significant swing up and then continues to fall like it did a couple of times on this chart now to do that we're going to attach the same indicator that this part advisor makes use of the hekinashi 2 and with the default settings we can see that it is almost there it almost does uh, what we need or what i want and this is good basically i don't need to change the settings at all the hekinashi smoothed settings are just enough smoothed to and in a way to however if i want to get rid of uh, if i want to export <coughs> pardon me to indicator to change the color and to send fake signals to the export advisor uh, too many times like it did here maybe or here red green green red and so on i have to tweak the settings the same way i've done it for the trend uh, just increase the first moving average 
So again, you can change the type and you will see that the expert advisor, sorry, the indicator has, uh, doesn't change the color too often. There it is. It will also be a small delay in changing the color, but it should get rid of some unwanted signals. Anyhow, uh, let's leave with the default settings for now and see what will happen. And I was also uh, show you or tell you that the same Hakenashi indicator settings that I use for the entries, uh, well, they must be copied from the indicator into right here under the Hakenashi entry exit uh, values. I think it was the default one, smoothed six and the second moving average linear weight two and the same settings used for the entry and exit the exit it's, it's optional the expert advisor can be set to uh, close trades when the color of the hakenashi changes it can also be set instructed to not to close trades if there is a negative profit and as i was saying the same settings used for the entries are also used for the trailing or the trailing stop if you decide to trail the price using the Heikenashi uh, indicator values. There are many other options like trailing the price uh, based on fractals, fractal indicator, ATR, uh, PSAR, <coughs> moving average profit and so on. I will explain all those when the time will come. So right now um, this is it. This is how easy it was to determine the trend and to trade with the trend according to the Heikenashi indicator. Uh, next, I'm going to focus on explaining all the settings and what they do. So bear with me. But because you have watched so far until now, I will also show you a discount code that you can use, a discount coupon, which is YT Video 10 you can use when you purchase if you decide to purchase this expert advisor uh, paying by card it's safe uh, we are using stripe as a, our payment processor uh, just enter the coupon on checkout and you will get a 10 percent discount to make your purchase easier now let's go back explaining the settings one by one and what exactly they are doing please also mind that the expert advisor settings are very well explained and detailed on the expert advisors page and i'm going to do it again right now in this video hopefully there will not be uh, there won't be anything unclear after that now let's go to the setting we start with the client email that can be left alone you don't need to change, you don't need to enter anything unless you are a client and you are trying and you are using this expert advisor on your live account. Um, for demo trading and for the if you are using the free version on your demo account, you don't need to enter anything. Next, there is a trading days filter, trading days on holidays. You can enable or disable the days of the week to trade and also holidays. So basically what it means is if you want to trade on Monday, you will have to set Monday to true. If you want to trade on Tuesday, set it to true. If you don't want to trade on Friday, some traders don't like that, just set this to false and expert advisor will be instructed not to trade on Fridays. Uh, maybe you don't want to trade on NFP stands for non-farm payroll, by the way. Maybe you don't want to trade in the NFP Friday. It's always a Friday because um, of the high volatility or maybe even the first day before an NFP. Then you set this to false and this part of us will not open any trades on any Fridays in the NFP Friday and the first day before NFP. A very important <coughs> next filter is the the uh, possibility to this expert advisor has the possibility to restrict uh, trading during the Christmas holidays. So that means that you have to, if you want that, you have to set Christmas holidays to true. Uh, sorry, to false. We don't want the expert advisor to trade during the Christmas holidays and set the start date for the Christmas holidays. And what it means in this example, it means that the expert advisor will not trade starting from 20th of December until the end of the year. 
and you can also disable trading for the New Year's holidays by setting the New Year's holidays to false. We don't want to trade and enter the date when the winter the New Year's holidays will end, which is 7th of January in my example. I think by default it was 5. And that means basically that for this winter holiday, Expert Advisor will not trade between 20th of December until 7th of January included. <clears throat> you can set the auto, um, you can set the, the GMT offset automatically by setting this auto GMT offset option to true or enter it or use it manually, but make sure you disable it before. If you are using this Expert Advisor in the strategy tester, uh, usually you have you must have these settings, uh, the auto GMT set to false in the strategy tester for this part advisor to use, um, to make use of the trading sessions filter below. If not, you can simply ignore it if you are trading uh, live. Leave it to true and this part advisor should find it. You will find explanation on how to set this manual on the expert advisor's page. I'll try not to lose too much time here. It is all explained right here. I'm going to go instead to the trading sessions because these are more important. So after we have determined whether we use the auto GMT or manual GMT, um, usually auto for normal trading, you can have the option that the traders have the option to enable or disable trading sessions. And I'm talking about the Tokyo session, the London session, the New York session. And basically you can also change the start um, and the finish of the session to match uh, like Sydney maybe, the Australian session or German, uh, Berlin and so on. And to do that, you first have to enable trading sessions and then you have to enable or disable um, each trading session that you want to trade on. So if you don't want to trade Japanese session, set it to false as it is right here. If you want to trade London session, set it to true and enter the start and the finish of the London sessions. If you don't want to trade the New York session, I'll set it to false. And then, the, and again, the expert advisor will not trade between these times. And it will not trade between these times. It will only trade between these times and in these days that I have enabled right here. And this is about the time, the day and the time filter. If uh, so far it is clear, let's go to the money management and lot size management. The expert advisor has the possibility, has the option to uh, determine the lot size automatically based on the free margin. And to do that, we must enable the lot size management by setting it to true and enter a decimal value right here. Uh, 0, 01 probably is too much. Let's try 0 0.0001. And this number that we enter right here multiplied with the free margin will determine the lot size that the expert advisor will place. Uh, the Heikenashi based trades. Now, if you don't want that, just set it to true and the expert advisor you will, uh, will use the lot size um, to open trades that you will enter right here underneath lot size as fixed value. In this example, 0 0.01 dollars um, or euros or whatever your account is in. <clears throat> we can, of course, uh, place a stop loss and a take profit for each of the trades. These values are in pips and also determine the maximum numbers of uh, orders allowed at the same time on the same chart, which here is set to three. And that means if I have three orders on this um, EURUSD chart, three open orders, the export advisor will ignore the trading signals um, and will not place any other uh, order regardless of the signal until um, some of them will close. We can also determine enter the slippage and then very useful information, a very useful um, option to deal with the open trades. Close trades at the opposite high can ash is signal. If we enable this, basically we are telling the export advisor to let me close it better. We are telling the export advisor to close a trade if it will have opened this self. For example, when the candle changed the color from green uh, into red, we're instructing the expert advisor to close this trade when the candle will change the color back from red into green. Um, and that's it. However, 
We can also instruct this product advisor not to close the trade. I uh, have no idea why this uh, window doesn't keep its size. We can instruct this product advisor not to close this trade and the opposite uh, the opposite signal <coughs> if there's a negative profit. And to do that, we set the, the next option to true. Do not close at Haikenashi if negative profit. This is useful in the following situation. So after the expert advisor will have closed this trade, it will, it will focus on opening the next one again according with the trend. And it will open uh, probably open a cell right here when the candle will change the color again from green into red. Uh, problem is the the candles change the color back after that immediately from red into green and at this point since the price didn't move too much down uh, at this point we might not have a profit for this trade now if you don't want this trade to close to close in negative profit you can leave it open and uh, the expert advisor will do just that and it will not close it because uh, it will not have a positive profit, it will be negative profit. So it will probably close it, uh, most likely it will close it <clears throat> when the candles will change the color back again from red into green. But at this point, the price will already have lowered and that will be a positive profit. It will close the trade in profit. We have next the option to close the trades at opposite Heiken Nashi and if the trend changes. So um, besides the first option, you can enable the next one, close trades at opposite Haikenashi trend plus signal if the trend and the signal change color. Um, I think this is very important. If the trend changes, you should probably focus on closing uh, the trades <coughs> if they go in the opposite direction. We have also have the option to close the winning trade if same signal occurs. Uh, let's say you are not using you don't want to close the, the trades at Haiken Ashi signal. Um, however, you want to close them at the same signal. Then the expert advisor will have opened this trade. Um, I'm out of lines. We have opened this trade and instead of closing it when the um candles change the color from red into green it will close it when it change the color from green into red and immediately after that open the next trade which will be also uh, again a sell or here the same thing so it will be like uh, it will look like a chain as soon as it will uh, it will open it will close the trade it will open the next one open close open close it will be like continuous trading and we have uh, the same as before we have the same option to um, either not close these trades if there is a positive or a negative profit um, <clears throat> the same thing do not close the trades if uh, if same signal if there is a negative profit maybe you don't want to close this trade and lose if you want to leave it open um, the expert advisor will not close it, we'll leave it open, we'll ignore this uh, that the color change and we'll leave it open until here when it will be able to close it because it will already be in, in, uh, in profit and depending on how many trades you are, you allow the expert advisor to have open at the same time uh, you might have at this point three positive uh, trades so this is one criteria and what the expert advisor settings do regarding the Hakenashi change of color. If there is too much information on the chart, you can have the display chart info set to false and then the expert advisor will get rid of this text. Um, but if you want to use it, you can also change the color to whatever color you choose. <coughs> the trading comment can be uh, changed so again, um, Haikenashi, let's say time H1, um, it will help you uh, monitor the trades if you want to use a trading comment. The magic number, if you set it to negative one, it means that the expert advisor will not, um, will monitor, will, uh, 
will manage and monitor trades on this chart all the trades on this chart that don't have a magic number which can be also trades open manually maybe you want to open a trade manually and then let the expert advisor trail the price or close the trade using the criteria above and much more however if you want the expert advisor to open and manage its own trades and only that do enter a magic number here and uh, do mind that it must be unique not to match with any other expert advisors otherwise we will interfere with each other and you might have a trade open in, um, by the Heike Nash expert advisor and then your other EA uh, using the same magic number will interfere and manage that trade or do whatever else with it now a very important thing is uh, filter is open the next trade and you can enter the any number in bars or candlestick hey and actually candlesticks if you want and um, in this setting is set to five and this is useful again to filter the fake signals as we have here in this example not fake signals but uh, <coughs> it will receive the, the expert advisor not to open too many trades in a very short amount of time as it happened here for example the candles change the color from red into green then again very fast from red into green um, so the expert advisor sorry the expert advisor will have opened two trades right here one cell and another cell and if you wanted only one um, you can gives me a headache this window that always minimizes then you can change the open next trade to a higher number of bars maybe 10 maybe 15 also depends on the time frame that you are using and what's happening on the chart so if i set it to 15 obviously the expert advisor if it will open the first trade it will not open the next one right here because it's too close it will open the next one 15 bars away so here is 15, so from here, uh, further. So this one would have been a valid signal. This would have been a trade. Um, it would have opened this trade, the expert advisor. Next in the expert advisor settings, and one day later after I started to shoot this video, uh, we have the option to <coughs> determine the trend. And this is basically the, uh, we have talked about this before, Let's do it again very fast. The expert advisor can determine the trend in, on either a current chart or a, uh, a higher time frame if the traders want so. And the trend detector can also be enabled or disabled. And if it is disabled, if both the trend A and the trend B is set to false, that means that the expert advisor will ignore the trend and it will trade only according to the Hekenashi entry exit signals basically the candles on the chart the Ekenashi candles it will open a sell when the <coughs> candles change the color from green into red and then a buy if they change the color from red into green now if you want to use the trend uh, with these settings uh, again i'm using the um, Ekenashi indicator signal to determine the trend on this chart it is uh, smoother to 100 linear with it too and this is also uh, reflected by this third uh, indicator right here that you don't need basically although i like to see it, you don't need because uh, the expert advisor itself it's writing this um, uh, trend uh, trend detector message right here informing us that the trend a is down zero means the current time frame and if you want to use the trend detector for a higher time frames um, for example one day if you are trading on h1 as i'm doing in this example <clears throat> you just enable this set it to true choose the time frame and again i do the same procedure that we have done before to determine the trend on trend a on this time frame and find the settings for the expert advisor and enter them right here and then the expert advisor will also write a message about the trend B right here on one day, which is 1,440 hours, of course. After the trend, we're finding the option to set the Heikenashi entry and exit uh, settings for the, for the signal, for the trading signal, and also for the 
um, closing the trades according to the criteria we have talked before. Close trades right here. We're not going to do it again. Um, again, I'm going to say that the trader has the possibility to change the moving averages and also the uh, values of the moving averages. By default, it has a shift equal to one, the signal, because we don't want we want the candle to close, to change the color, then close and stay with that color and not uh, repaint. And that's why <clears throat> we should give it a shift. Now, besides this or after this. There's a very uh, useful option to filter fake entries or better say entries in the um, wrong time by using the swing zone uh, confirmation. And this is a, a feature that you will find in other Forex Expert Advisors. Where it has two settings. One is the swing zone bars, which is set to 40. And the other one is the pips away from last swing which is set to 20 pips and if set to zero it will disable this i'm not going to disable it right now because we want to see it on the chart so what it means it's 40 bars 20 pips it's that the export advisor will determine the highest high let's see the candles for later the highest high and the lowest low for a period of 40 bars starting from the current time going back and on this chart and with these settings, we have the expert advisor trading with the trend. The trend is down. It means that the expert advisor will have opened a trade right here. When the candles change the color from green or teal into red. And this trade will have been a valid signal only if the price will have been, and if it was, although the, my meta trader was closed. Um, only if the price would have been at least 20 pips away from the uh, lowest low, <clears throat> which was right here. So in this case, this would have been a good trading signal to sell. Well, obviously after that, the price didn't go in our favor too much. So this might have been a loss trade or depending on a stop loss, um, well, a still open trade. However, the idea is this an opposite happens uh, with the buy. For the buy, the price must be at least 20 pips away, uh, this time from the highest high that the price created um, within the last 40, 40 bars or 40 candles. And this is about the um, swing zone confirmation zone. The swing, the swing zone confirmation. It is a very useful feature and I make use of it. However, as I have said, if you don't need it, set it to zero and the swing zone bars will also disappear from the chart. Making maybe things more clear. Now, after that, there's an option to uh, show or hide the swing levels on the chart, which is by default set to true. Next in the expert advisor settings, it's the possibility to enable or disable Martingale. And there are two ways to Martingale, basically to try to recover losses um, if that occurs. And this is the classic way to increase the lot size of a next trade after the previous trade closed, which is exactly done by these settings. Enable Martingale to true. Martingale open trades have it set to false and then just enter a martingale multiplier which is the multiplier you want to increase the lot size with so if the previous lot size closed in, uh, in the if the previous lot size was let's say 0 0.1 dollars if you set the martingale multiplier to 2 the next uh, open trade will be 0 0.1 multiplied by 2 which is 0 0.2 dollars and this is what the uh, multiplier does and there's the possibility to um, well, to set a limit to retry to martingale for for to increase the lot size for a certain number of times uh, my personal preference is to one i want to increase the lot size only one time i don't like to keep doubling the bet that's where many traders fail and that's why martingale is so feared because uh, greed takes over and the trader doesn't know when to stop so i i personally like to uh, martingale to increase the lot size only one 
I don't set a multiplier higher than two, but again, that's my preferences. And that was about Martingale, the uh, increase the lot size for already closed trades. If uh, you want to increase the lot size for open trades, let's say one trade goes, uh, doesn't go in your favor, and then the expert advisor needs to open uh, um, or opens another one according to the trend, of course, and according to all the trading settings. And assuming that the expert advisor is allowed to open an X trade, so the maximum orders is not reached. Then if the previous trade is a negative profit and Martingale open trades is set to true, the expert advisor will place the next trade uh, according to the Martingale settings. In this case, it will double the lot size of uh, the, the previous order to determine the lot size of the next one. <clears throat> so if we have a, a losing trade, um, that keeps losing, the next trade will be that lot size multiplied by two. And finally, behind the uh, one the martingale, and the last important settings are the trailing stop settings, which might be a little overwhelming, but uh, trust me, they are very easy to explain. And you will find on our uh, on our website, um, robotfx.org, that we have an expert advisor named simply trailing stop expert advisor that can do all this except for the Heikenashi trailing and the swing zone trailing uh, and it works as a standalone. So what does it mean? It means that you have decided to use and to purchase the Heikenashi expert advisor. You will not need the other trailing stop advisor and probably no other trailing stop advisor. So under the trailing uh, settings, there is the possibility to uh, set uh, the trailing stop according to candlesticks, which is basically the end of the candlestick. Uh, mind that this refers to the normal candlestick, not the Heiken Ashi candlestick. For the Heiken Ashi candlestick, you have to use the Heiken Ashi. Then there's the possibility to trail according to the fractals uh, indicator limits. Um, the ATR average through range indicator, the parabolic PSAR indicator, a moving average indicator according to the profit basically when we are 50 percent in profit or something like that uh, that option can be set here <clears throat> the classic trailing by points or pips depends how you want to to say it uh, it can trade the price according to the swing zone the uh, swing zone that we talked about previously and like i said it can trade the price according to the heiken ashi candlesticks and all these all the settings for these expert advisors, the one of sorry for these indicators used, the one that need settings like the PSAR or moving average, um, the ATR indicator uh, are under this right here. So you can determine the ATR settings yourself, the PSAR indicator yourself, and the moving average that in my example is set to 100 smooth typical price. Um, and if you decide to trade the price according to the Heiken Ashi indicator, do mind that it uses the same settings uh, as the Heiken Ashi signal. This is the most appropriate way to, to trail the price. And there's also the possibility to set a buffer right here, a buffer between the end of the candle, the Heiken Ashi candle, or the normal candlesticks if you want to, to trail using candlesticks or any other method, um, just set a buffer. The buffer might be needed to be set higher than five pips, which seems to be the default, maybe 20, maybe 30 pips, if you are trading uh, according to the Heiken Ashi indicator. <clears throat> Again, feel free to go to our webpage and download this and try it yourself, try your own settings. And um, after all this, finally, the last option is to print more logs, which is by default set to false. And I suggest you leave it to false always because the size of the logs uh, can increase considerably if you forget about it and leave it set to true. Uh, it is designed to be used only if the trader uh, thinks that something is wrong with the expert advisor, with the way it trades. And we might need those logs to uh, check what happened <clears throat> And these are stored in the MetaTrader export logs 
or in the journal. And this is it about the settings. Next, I'm going to leave you to uh, watch a short demonstration on how the Export Advisor trades on, sorry, trades on the um, in the strategy tester, basically, just to see how it works and how it behaves. I'm going to show you the settings I'm using for this test. So I'll, until the beginning of the year, unt until today, uh, well, not today, two days later. And I'm going to show you the settings first. And by the way, I'm not showing. I'm I'm not trying to show you that the Expert Advisor is profitable. Well, of course, the Expert Advisor is profitable if set up properly, uh, but it can also lead to uh, losses if not set up properly. And the uh, strategy tester, I think I've said it many times in many other videos, is to be used only to uh, determine functionality and how the Expert Advisor works, and maybe get an idea of the uh, generic settings, but after that, you have to tweak them yourself and find the best settings depending on your equity, your chart frame, your time frame, um, all the various settings regarding the uh, what price does on the chart at that, at that time, price action, and so on, incoming news, and many, many other things that, uh, in a nutshell, resume to trading knowledge. Without trading knowledge, there is no uh, expert uh, such as a holy grail expert advisor. So these are the expert advisors that I'm using in these settings. Feel free to pause the video if you want to copy them in your uh, trading strategy. <clears throat> as you can see, I am Martin Gailey one time. Also open trades. I'm not afraid to do it because I know when to stop. Uh, let's see what happens.
And this is it about the uh, Heike Nash Expert Advisor. Again, I would like to invite you to download this free version. Just click on this uh, download a free version and do mind that it work uh, on your demo account. It is fully functional, but it only works on your demo accounts though. Um, if you decide that it does what you need to do and it follows your Heike Nash strategy, after that you can go ahead and purchase it and don't forget about the discount coupon I have shown you previously. And if you are trying this in a strategy tester, uh, first, you probably want to change from open prices only to uh, every tick because, uh, well, it is more precise. The hardware will take much longer for the test to finish. Or just go ahead, since you are on a demo account, and start trading. Find the best settings and let us know the results. You can post a comment right here or just use the contact uh, form that we have on our website in the footer. Thank you for watching and I hope you will find this useful.